So this hydraulic fracturing fluids are used to frack each well and contain 60 to 160 tons of chemicals. Marcellus and Barnett, about 20 stays underground. Some of it comes back over time. So this produced water is what we usually call produced water and normal oil and gas activity. It has a lot of salt. It has a lot of volatile organic chemicals, benzene, non-human cancer carcinogen, ethyl benzene, toluene, semi-volatile such as phenol, pyridine, which are known and suspected to cause cancer, birth defects, genetic impacts, a whole host of toxic heavy metals. So the produced water then starts coming to the surface when the gas starts coming to the surface. And the entire time gas is being produced, you're also producing large quantities of produced water. The produced water is contaminated with those materials I just showed, <coughs> sulfur compounds, the naturally occurring radioactivity 226, radium 228, uranium, salt water. The volatile chemicals and the toxic heavy metals are known and possible cancer causing agents. The radium is a bone seeker. It's a known cancer causing agent and it causes lung and bone cancer. Inhalation and dermal exposure and absorption from the air emissions. If any of you have been to the community of dish, you smell it, you taste it, you're being exposed, you're inhaling it, and then when it touches your skin, you're absorbing it. The natural gas produced is methane and its associated hydrocarbons and condensates. The condensate contains extremely toxic volatile chemicals. Benzene, known as an cancer causing causes leukemia in children. Xylene, toluene, ethyl benzene, other possible cancer causing agents, and the sulfur based compounds, so that results in the rotten egg smell. These chemicals are released into the air during production, during the separation process from tank storage and from pipeline transportation.